Factors type 3. Quadratic expressions with three terms. A quadratic expression is an expression of the form ax squared plus bx plus c. So something x squared plus or minus something x plus or minus a constant. So a number on its own. Examples are 2x squared plus 5x plus 10 and 3x squared minus 2x. And I know this is only two terms, but you could think of it as 3x squared minus 2x plus 0, and then it would match with this expression. So we want to factorize x squared plus 5x plus 6. So this is in the form of ax squared plus bx plus c. So when we're asked to factorize any expression, we want to end up with brackets in our answer, because factorize means divide, and the opposite of divide is multiply. So our answer should have brackets in it because brackets means multiply. So when we are asked to factorize an expression in this format, we want to end up with two sets of brackets, or I like to call them two eggs. So if we have an expression in this format, so something x squared plus or minus something x plus or minus a constant, we're going to use what I call the arrow method. So I call this a quadratic trinomial because it's quadratic, the highest power is x squared, and it's trinomial, there's three parts to it, three terms. So I'm going to use what I call the arrow method. So for the arrow method, I bring down the x squared to the left, I break up the 5x into two parts with two arrows, and then I bring down the plus 6 down to the right. And then I start to have a look at the signs, and they tell me what's going to happen next. So this plus here tells me that the two signs that I'm going to break the 5x up into, so the two terms that I break the 5x up into, that they're going to be the same. So the plus here tells me that the signs will be the same. And then this plus tells me that they're both plus. Okay, so this x squared comes down here, down to the left. I'm going to break the 5x up into two parts, and the plus 6 comes down to the right. Okay, so as I said before, this plus tells me that these two signs are the same. And this plus tells me that they're both plus. So it's plus something x plus something x. So where did I get the 2 and the 3 from? Well, I got the factors of 6. So you always get the factors of the constant. And the factors of 6 are 1 multiplied by 6 or 2 multiplied by 3. So... 1x plus 6x, if I had chosen those, 1x plus 6x gives me 7x, which is not 5x, so that won't work. So 2x plus 3x will give me 5x, so that's why I chose 2 and 3. So 2x plus 3x gives me 5x. So that's the hard part done. Next, we're going to factorize the first two terms and then factorize the second two terms. So we're going to use grouping to do this. So x squared plus 2x, my HCF, my highest common factor will be x. x squared divided by x leaves me with x. And 2x divided by x leaves me with plus 2. Then I factorize the two terms on the right. So 3, positive 3 is my HCF, my highest common factor. 3x divided by 3 is x. And 6 divided by 3 is 2. So... The two brackets, the two sets of brackets, or the two eggs, as I like to call them, you can see that they match perfectly. We've got x plus 2 in the first one and x plus 2 in the second one. So that means that we've done it right, first of all, and we have the first part of our answer. So x plus 2 is the first part of our answer. And then we bring down the HCF, which is x, and the other HCF, which is plus 3, and we stick brackets around it. So there we have the second part of our answer. So this is our answer, two sets of brackets, x plus 2 multiplied by x plus 3. And we can just double check, go back to the signs. So this plus tells us the signs are the same, and they should also be the same in the answer. Yes, they are. And this plus tells us they're both plus. So they should both be plus, and yes, they are. We can also check um, that the 2 plus 3 should give us 5. Yes, it does. And 2 multiplied by 3 should give us 6. Yes, it does. So now we can check, we can take our two sets of brackets, multiply them out, and we end up getting x squared plus 5x plus 6, 
which is what we started with, so we know that we are right. So the answer to this question is x plus 2 multiplied by x plus 3. Okay, so now we want to factorize x squared minus 10x plus 24. So again, we have a quadratic trinomial, so we're going to use the arrow method. So we're going to have four arrows. So this plus here tells me the signs are the same. So I'm going to break this up into two parts and the signs will be the same. And this plus here tells me that they're both going to be minus. So it's going to be minus something x minus something x. So I'm going to bring down the x squared. I'm going to bring down the plus 24. And then this is going to break up into two parts. So I've decided to go with minus 4x minus 6x. So let's have a look at where I got that from. So I got the factors of 24. They are 1 times 24 is 24. 2 times 12 is 24. 3 times 8 is 24. And 4 times 6 is 24. So I need to choose two numbers that when they are subtracted, they end up giving me minus 10. So if I'd gone with minus 1 minus 24, that would have given me minus 25, which won't work. Minus 2 minus 12 is minus 14, that won't work. Minus 3 minus 8 is minus 11, that won't work. Minus 4 minus 6 is minus 10, that's what we want. So now the hard part's done, I just have to factorize the first two terms and factorize the second two terms and hopefully the brackets match. So x squared minus 4x, my HCF is x. x squared divided by x is x. Minus 4x divided by x is minus 4. Then I have minus 6x plus 24. So my HCF is 6. Minus 6x divided by 6 is minus x. Plus 24 divided by 6 is plus 4. So the two sets of brackets, they look similar, but they're not the exact same. This is a positive x. This is a negative x. This is a negative 4. This is a positive 4. So what we're going to do is change the signs of everything on the right-hand side. So we bring down the x times x minus 4. The plus 6 becomes minus 6. Minus x becomes x. Plus 4 becomes minus 4. Now the two sets of brackets match. So x minus 4 is in both sets of brackets. So that's the first part of my answer. And then x minus 6 is the second part of my answer. So here we have our answer, and we're just going to double check. So this plus tells us the signs are the same. Yes, the signs are the same. And this plus tells us they're both minus. Yes, they're both minus. And minus 4 minus 6 gives me minus 10. And minus 4 multiplied by minus 6 gives me plus 24. So yes, it works. I'm just going to check by multiplying out these brackets. And I end up with x squared minus 10x plus 24. So I'm back to the start. So therefore, this answer is correct. Factorize x squared minus x minus 12. Now, before I get started on this, this minus x is actually minus 1x. So I'm going to stick in an invisible 1 there. OK, so this time I have a minus at the back. So this minus tells me that the signs that I'm going to break this term up into are going to be different. So the signs will be different. So I don't need to bother looking at this sign because they're different. One's a plus, one's a minus. End of. Okay, so same as before. I bring down the x squared. I bring the, break this up into two parts. I bring down the minus 12. Okay, so I have my four arrows. So I bring the x squared down to the left, the minus 12 down to the right, and this breaks up into two parts. So I've gone with 3x minus 4x. So how did I get that? So the factors of 12 are 1 times 12, 2 times 6, and 3 times 4. Now I have to be really careful with this one because these signs are different. So it can make it a little bit trickier. If I'd gone with 1 and 12, so 1 minus 12 is minus 11. So that won't work because I'm looking for minus 1. And 12 minus 1 is positive 11. So again, that will not work. If I'd gone with 2 and 6, 2 minus 6 is minus 4. That won't work. And 6 minus 2 is positive 4. That won't work. So I'm left with 3 and 4. So that must be the two terms I'm going to use. But let's just double check. 3 minus 4 is minus 1. So yes, 3 minus 4 is minus 1. Now I have to be careful because if I put them the other way around, if I'd made the positive 4 and the negative 3, I would have had 1 minus 3, which is plus 1x. 
which is not what I have here. So be really careful with your signs here. So positive 3x minus 4x gives me minus 1x. Now the hard part is done. I factorize the first two terms, I factorize the second two terms, and then hopefully my two sets of brackets will match. So x squared minus 3x, my HCF is x. x squared divided by x is x. 3x divided by x is 3. Then on the right, I have minus 4x minus 12. So minus 4 is the HCF here. So minus 4x divided by minus 4 is x. And minus 12 divided by minus 4 is positive 3. So minus divided by minus is a plus. Now we can see my two sets of brackets match. So I have the first part of my answer. So x plus 3 is the first part of my answer. And then x minus 4 is going to be the second part of my answer in the second set of brackets. So I was asked to factorize, which means I have to have brackets in my answer. So x plus 3 times x minus 4 is my answer. So this minus told me the signs were different. And yes, they are different. One's a plus and one's a minus. And then 3 take away 4 is minus 1. And 3 multiplied by minus 4 is minus 12. So yes, this is our answer. We're just going to double check by multiplying out the brackets. I end up with x squared minus 1x minus 12, which is what I started with. So yes, I'm right.